I've been playing on PlayStation basically my whole life. I got my first Thilfy almost 15 years ago and since then I've been hooked. I'm a big fan of pretty much every kind of game and I try to play as many different games as I can. So for my first video I thought it'd be fun to show you where it all began and walk you through my Thilfy collection from the very start. So let's take a look. What have I got? So the game at the very bottom of my list is Pain. Um, I had a really hard Thilfy list but back then um, indie games or just smaller games in general didn't get platinums and also the DLC used to just get mixed in so I think there only were like five um, Thilfys at launch and then they added loads but if you look at it now there's just too many and you had to pay for all of them um, I think there's a lot of games down here that I didn't buy myself but I would play for a little bit so there's a lot there's a lot of like low percentages down here just because like when I was eight years old I played Far Cry 2 for like a day I guess um, I do kind of want to go back to these at some point just because I've never actually played Far Cry 2 all the way through um, but obviously you'd have to get the PlayStation 3 out and then sit through the load times and stuff but and same with like Mother's Edge like I've got 15% here, but I've played it on PC, but obviously in 2009 I only got to chapter 4. Again, more smaller games. Nobi Nobi Boy, don't know if anyone's played that, but I think it was weird, but I think it was like ahead of its time with the social stuff. Um, I've always wanted to go back to this, because I played this when I was younger. And it is easy, but I don't have the game anymore. Um, but I think it only takes like five hours to get the platinum. So one day I think I'll pick up this game somehow um, and finish it off. So here's GTA 4, which was my first one ever, 6th of November 2008. Um, and again, I did finish, yeah, I finished this. It took me ages, I think. Um, but the multiplayer stuff is just oh, too hard. So we'll skip through because there's a lot of games out here that I just played, you know. And then in 2010, this is my first Platinum, so it took me two years to get one. Um, I think I just didn't care that much at that point. I do remember, I think I tried to get it in Modern Warfare 2, and then I just got stuck on the one of the favela missions. Yeah, takedown, is that it? Oh, I didn't do like my game there and it was like halfway it was like halfway through. And then Spec Ops as well. I think it was just the idea that if I can't do veteran then I probably can't do Spec Ops, so I just gave up. This has always annoyed me, Assassin's Creed 2. When I don't know if I went back to it. No, so when I played it originally, I basically did everything to get the platinum. Except the feathers. Yeah, the feathers, one of the, t the tombs, and then, I can't remember what that was for, but the glyphs, uh, glyphs I guess. Um, and I went back to it, but because my brother bought the DLC, um, it was on his account, so I'd have to download it off, so I'd have to log into his account to download it, and it said my save data wasn't compatible, because I didn't have the DLC, and I just, I don't know, I just need to get the password off him and go back in. Because, I mean, I don't know how, how long this would take if I don't have my old save. But, like, not that long, surely. And I do have the Platinum in the PS4 version. Portal 2 is another one that annoys me. Because, again, when it came out, I basically did everything. Except just these, like, easy co-op ones. Which, I guess, because back then, it would have been, I would have been 10. So, boosting online I just wasn't a thing that, like, I could do. Um, or just find a partner online. But nowadays, you could just go on PSN and files, make a session, and someone will join. But the um, online isn't up anywhere. So, this will just be forever 82%. I guess I could go back and get that one. But Lego Pilots as well, that's another one that I want to go back to at some point. Just because I have the Platinum and so many other Lego games. And I just didn't finish this one. Um, I don't know why. I think maybe, I think when I played this, I hadn't actually seen the films, so I think that did kill it a bit for me. I've actually never played Ico, and I would love to. Um, 
I think, I don't know, I think when I was younger it was just like too annoying, so, but I mean, I could handle it now, I could actually get through it. Um, Thomas was alone, I think that's my second 100%, no platinum here, but 2013. Um, is that, okay. That's really actually, I didn't realise it took me three years to get my second platinum. Well, not even three years, we don't know yet. Um, I kind of want to go back and do the last jet, well, PlayStation 3 Uncharted games, because I've got the platinum in the PS4 games for 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and Lost Legacy, but I just, back then, actually I got quite far through this one. I think this is maybe because like, I went back to it in 2013, so I think I went back to get the Platinum and then just gave up at some point, but I did, I beat it on hard, yeah. But yeah, I don't know, same thing where load times and like there's other games to play, but I would like to go back. The Last of Us, 43%, just because of the weird Telfi list where if you just beat the game, you only get complete the game. Like, there aren't any other story ones. And then, of course, the four multiplayer ones. And you can't get this anymore either because the servers are down on the PlayStation 3 version. Um, which is a shame. I actually never played Left Behind at launch, I only played it on the PS4 version. So here is number two. Saint for the 04. I actually remember I, I like this game so much that I, I, I had it on PC at the time. Like I bought it at launch when it came out and then like I fin uh, the week later I got it on PlayStation. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, so it came out August 23rd and I got, I've played it on the 29th, so good game though. Just wish the new one was as good. Lego Lord of the Things. Um, don't actually remember this one much. I think. Oh yeah, see, I went back. To, I, so this is. I think this would would have been when I actually started caring because, you see, I played the game. I guess this is when it came out, and then I finished it. Cause he heard like actually. I think I would have done most of it, and then I went back to it in twenty thirteen to just finish it off. Assassin's Creed Four. I think it, this is. Yeah, I think I got the platinum in this without the multiplayer selfies. Like, you know, I almost did it. Yeah, I had to do that one too, but... Actually, that's weird, the multiplayer doesn't even seem that hard. Because surely level 55 is it's just time-based, you know? And then, use of the ability, of the map, of the game mode, and of the ranged weapon. Like, that seems easy. Unless there's like one you have to unlock by doing a challenge, and I couldn't do the challenge. I don't know if the multiplayer is still up for this. I would like to go back, kind of, but um, I don't know. Here is PS4 launch day. Well, not actually launch day, I got it for Christmas. But actually funny, I was looking at this earlier, and you can see I played Contest, which was on PlayStation Plus, on Christmas day, because I guess it would have been faster to download. Um, so I think that was the first game I played. And I played Lego Marvel Super Heroes over the next week. And got the platinum in that. Um, but look, the next Outlast, which I think was on, that was the February PlayStation Plus. Yeah. So for two, like, it was just so weird for two months. I didn't even play a PS4 game. I even went back to play Liberation on the PlayStation 3. Um, Shadow of the Colossus as well. Um, I just feel like I need to play these games. Um, and The Last Guardian. Not as much for that, but. I would like to still check it out. Um, I think at this point, though, I'd play the PS4 version, just because, like, you may as well. Um, Jack and Daxter as well. I'm not too keen on, like, I need to go back to, to these, but I would like to give them another shot, just because, you see, I played it. I tried to play it in September, December, February, and I just couldn't get into it. So if I just, like, because they're quite short as well, I think, so if I just, like, not, not force myself, but... Like, if I, like, sit down and play it, I think I would actually enjoy it. God of War, the first one, in 2014. Um, you can see here, like, I got, I must 
I played for like an hour in 2010 and then I was like nope I'm gonna go back 16th of February and I had the platinum in four days after that um this one was fun as well because it was when I this was like the first like hard platinum that I'd got I think yeah I've got so you can see it's like three lego games um Assassin's Creed I can't remember if that was easier or not but like it wasn't too hard anyway and then Saints Row was easy because you got the like cheats and bonuses. But yeah, God of War was the first one that you actually had to you had to beat it on. But you had to beat it on hard. Okay. But you had to do the challenge of the gods, which I actually um so I played this in twenty fourteen and then I never played two or three. But after the Agnodoc came out, I went back and played God of War one again, then I got the platinum in God of War two. Um and I'm looking to play three at some point. But um so yeah, I just I basically just did this all over again. I didn't, care, I didn't do the collectibles stuff though, just because like I didn't have to. South Park, the first one. Um, really easy. Um, I can't believe I did that. What, was it four days, three days? Um, I mean, this game's amazing. I've not, I don't actually, I've never actually seen the show. Like I've seen episodes of it, but I don't actually watch it. Um, but this game's just so good. And I think, I think I probably, I like the second one better. I would think. Um, I would need to play them again, but I actually don't have the platinum in the second one just because I didn't want to do it on hard and I, th I was like, okay, I'll play it once and then I'll go back. And I just never went back. So I did everything else except that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can see here. So I think I will go back to that at some point, but I don't know. Um, and then more PS4 games, they started actually coming out. Um, I would love, obviously people like Ghost of Tsushima but I'd love a new Infamous, I just think it'd be so good, especially with the way that like Superhero, because um, this was what 2014, so we were that, I think Avengers 2 hadn't even came out at this point, um, just seeing how much, like what they could do in like the 8 years that have passed or uh, 9 years now um, Hotline Miami I played this on PC when it came out and then I think this was Playstation Plus maybe, um but this one was fun because you can see I started it on the 5th at 10pm and then I got the platinum at 6am on the 6th so basically just an all-nighter um, playing this and I remember yeah you can see there's a hour gap between get A plus and all the old chapters I think there's just one I was stuck on but I'd like this um, go to the car 60 times so at the end of each level you have to walk back out and go to the car um, so I guess for the last 20 minutes I was just completing the uneasy level going out, going back in, going out, going back in Kingdom Hearts another 100% but this is the one that's like the it's like a movie and uh, yeah I didn't actually watch it you can see that I finished it in one minute um, I like the gameplay in Kingdom Hearts I don't care much obviously I know that people like it and it's like that's fine but um, I just don't care much for the actual story, story. Sleeping Dogs, 75% Platinum. I've done the DLC on the PS4 version, but I think they weren't that like exciting, so I didn't buy them on when I first played it. And again, this is one that I played on PC, and then... Not sure if this was on PlayStation Plus or just a sale, but got the Platinum in four days, just because I was like, I love this game so much. Um, I don't think it's underrated because it has become one of those games that people talk about as being underrated, which I think takes it away. Like people always say the Titanfall 2 campaign is underrated. I'm like, yeah, but everyone loves it, so how can it? Um maybe in a ter uh, in like a commercial sense. But yeah, this came out what 2012 and then they announced the MMO and then they shut down the MMO and I think they announced a movie with Donnie Yen and then I think that's like technically, you know, the movies are just always coming out. I think that is technically coming soon. But I don't know. Just I think the studio shut down now. I think so. Uh, Burnout Paradise. I love this game as well. Um, this was actually so. This came out before the Delphi update came out for PlayStation. You basically had to start again to get the platinum. Um, so I think a lot of people technically actually would have the platinum in this if the update had came out sooner. Platinum number eleven. Lego Movie game. Um, don't remember this one much either. I feel like a lot of the Lego games, like other than the like good good ones, they just kind of like 
melt away in your head. Wolf Among Us on PlayStation 3. Yeah, it's definitely my favourite Telltale thing. Um, and it's sad, uh, just two days ago they announced the new one's getting delayed, which is like fine, but you know. I'm wanting to play it. Um, Lego Hobbit. This one annoys me because this is what this came out um, before the third film, and they announced that there would be DLC to finish it off, and then. Um, still waiting. Um, if Miss First Light. It was actually cool because th this is it's kind of like an insight into how PlayStation works now with their like smaller games. Like this is basically like a Miles Modalis of Infamous. Murder so Sus Suspect is such a weird game. Uh, I feel like no one like no one has ever no one's talked about this in the nine years it's been out. I think this might have been the game where I first found um, PS Five trophies, the YouTuber. Um, I just followed his guide and I was like, okay, just let me out. Middle Earth, Shadow Mordor, 100%. Oh no, 72%, hardly percent in the game. Um, hopefully, the Wonder Woman game is good and uses the Nemesis system well because they've patented it. So, we're like, they're the only people who can give us that. And it's been five years since Shadow War. Six years, actually. Transistor, super giant. Um, I love this, and I think again, this is also this is I played this on PC when it came out, and then I think this was on PlayStation Plus. So eighth at half eight, and then nine at half four, or the ninth at half four. And I think on this one, there used to be a thing on PSN profiles on the forum. They would pick a game that was in PlayStation Plus every month, and whoever could get the platinum the fastest would win. Um, I can't remember, you. I think you'd win another game. Yeah, so I'm no, uh, number fourth in the world, seven hours, 58 minutes. Number one is five hours, 17. And you'd probably get a week quicker than that as well. Um, but yeah, this was, was basically just the idea that I'd played it on PC and I knew which moves were good, like which um, skills to match. And so I just like spanned him the whole game. The Swapper, no platinum. It's only two and a half hours, so, or three hours. Definitely check that out if you like puzzle stuff. A Vita Platinum, my first Vita Platinum. Um, yeah, Lego games on the Vita or PSP, like the DS ones especially. Just not great, but. Heavy Rain, I, admit, I was definitely way too young to play this, but Heavy Rain is my favourite of the David Cage games. And I know David Cage plays is a bit dangerous, but again, this is one where it's actually quite funny. I, you can see I played it for the first time here. And I went back to it two years, yeah, I went back to it two years later, went back to it a year later, went back to it two years later. Um, and I've got the Platinum on the PS4 version as well for that. Skyrim on PS3. Skyrim is actually a game that I've died to Platinum twice, I think it's a year, like, played it when it came out. And again, the, uh, I played this on PC when it came out, so if you're wondering why I only, like, it took me so long to just do, like, basic stuff. Um, I yeah, went back to it two years later, played it on Christmas Eve. Um, went back to it a few months later, went back to it a year later again. And in my head, I will go back to it again one day. But Welcome Park in the Vita. I don't know, this doesn't have a platinum, but I actually really want to do this. This was basically like the tech demo on the Vita. When you get it, you can download it for free. I don't know why uh, I played this on PC. Um, I don't know why I didn't get the platinum. I think the same one where I think something glitched. And then... Oh, I think actually it might be... Um, after, at the end of one of the missions, you can choose to just completely take over an area for free. And I think if you do that, you, you get locked out of this. Like, whatever one you do, it doesn't unlock, I think. And in these as well. Um, I think anyway. But, yeah. And again, on that, I've got the platinum on the PS4 version of this. Apotheon, again a game that no one really, no one talks about anymore, or even at the time, people didn't really talk about it, but this was on PlayStation Plus and it was actually quite cool, um, like a 2D, no it wasn't It wasn't like God of War but obviously you see the comparison, but like a 2D God of War and had a cool art style as well, it looked like the little, the paintings. Sherlock Holmes, I think, so this was the month after I won the Transistor um, challenge, so I was like okay well let's do it again, 
So this on PlayStation Plus, I don't really have any into this and playing it. But I think the same one, you know, like I started at half eleven, finished at six, definitely shouldn't have been awake, but... I don't know if I won that one as well. Yeah, so on here, it's not as good as the other one, but... 21st, 6 hours, 40 minutes. Another one is 4 hours, 4. Um, I do actually, I think I... I think at the time I just didn't appreciate these kind of games, but definitely going back now, I think I'd like it more. So I might check out the other ones. And uh, yeah, actually this was this is a game that I won from one of the chat the um, competitions. But it's like a, a Japanese fighting game, and usually I'm not into fighting games that much. I usually I play like the campaign, like whatever that is. Like I play it for like a bit. I'll check it out, but I'm not like I don't get into them as much. Um, but this one is rude because I, I, I'd never heard of this at the time, but now I've seen this pop up a few times in like Evo, I think. Um, so it was quite cool to just kind of be a, you know, feel like I did like the, the comic before the MCU film came out or something like that. Um, Arkham Knight, 72%. Isn't it crazy how if the, the game has so much DLC, what the, that's way too much, um, how much the percentage goes in. This is another one where I decided to get it and then I just gave up at some point with probably the Riddler challenges. I don't know. I would like to go back to it at some point though, because I did attempt Arkham Asylum on the PS4. Um, and I, I gave up on that one as well. Not gave up, but like other games come out and you're like, oh, I'm just going to play them. Lego Batman 3. This one's good. I um, don't know if that's a controversial opinion, but again, what I played, I beat this in like four days. Um, to DLC again. I don't know what. Oh yeah. So it's kind of like um, Mar Lego Avengers is the same. GTA 5 PS4. Um, this is just when it came out on PS4. I like played it for a bit. You can actually see there's a bunch of like auto pop GTA Online ones before auto pop was like a thing. Um, but yeah, I didn't play this much at all on PS4. But you'll see the PS3 version later on. Super Exploding Zoo. Um, this is like a fun like puzzle game. I think this is definitely on PlayStation Plus. Uncharted 1. So I think I would have went back to this. Yeah. So like played it 2010 when it came out. Oh, I don't think that's when it came out. But played it in 2010. Then 2015 went back to it for collectibles and then just stopped. That and Clank into the Nexus? Question mark. Um, I think I remember this is the first game I played on PlayStation Now. And I think I played this yeah, like in three days. Um, I don't remember much of it, but I know that I think people don't like it. Um, but I thought it was fine. Uncharted 4. Um, I mean, just perfect. Perfect in every way. Um, I mean, this is just an amazing game. Um, I would love to go back and do the PS5 version because I think it did have auto pop, but I didn't have my save anymore. I'd like to go back to it because I've not played it in what? Seven years? It's in May. Like, that's mad. Gone home on PS4. Again, I'd, I'd play this on PC. Um, so I think this was on PlayStation Plus and there was some... I think you could turn on a thing that would let you go through any door. So you can just go up, go to the end of the game for them like the first minute. Um, yeah, so obviously just did this for the... I did, yeah, I did this in like 20 minutes. But yeah. The only like influential game. Um, I would like to... I didn't, I've not played Tacoma. I would like to check that out. And then they've got the... Open roads coming out. I think that's meant to be this year. It, like probably get delayed just because we've not heard much about it. Uh, obviously, we've only seen that one cinematic, but it looks like good from that. The Order eighteen eighty six, my favourite movie. Um, I actually do like it. This is actually weird though because I think it was so it was like fifty pound for a four hour game, and people were like angry about that. But then we're getting up to seventy pounds now for like some games come out that are that short. I just into this and seen the discourse um, six years ago. I think actually, I played this late because I think this came in 2014. But yeah, I think it, I mean, it still holds up the way that it graphically, anyway. I think the gameplay is just like, it's like fine, but like, it's cool. And it's, it's sad as well because I think it ends on a post credits. And then I'm pretty sure um, the developers are at Facebook now or Meta. Um, so, just one of those things. Saints of the 04 on, is this the PS4 version? Yeah, so but I think this came with the DLC, so I finally played it, and I thought, yeah, it's cool. But yeah, it's kind of sad. I know that I feel like I would need, to, I, w I want to play two again because I never played one, but I played two when I was younger, and I liked it, but not kind of. I feel 
at that point in my brain hadn't like developed to actually like know why I liked it and why what things I didn't like. Um, but then when three came out, especially the kind of like the tone, the humour at that age, I don't like obviously it's not like a kids game, but there's definitely that kind of like toilet humour. I think I just loved three, and then four. Like I'd be so I'm saying that I like them more than two, but I'd like to go back to two and see like do I actually like it more than two? But I know it's hard because the PC port is like a mess or whatever, and they lost the source code. But hopefully one day there'll be a a remaster or something. Um, and see here, there's a look at the five platinum. I don't know. Persona Four Dancing. I've actually never played um, Four all the way. Th well, not even all the way through. I've not even. Look, I don't have dates on these. Oh, weird. Oh, wait. I don't know. It's just some Vita bug. Um, but yeah, I've, I've not actually played Persona Four all the way through. But I love the dancing games for some reason. I guess the music is good. Um, and I've got this is the Vita version, but I've got the platinum in the PS4 and uh, the platinum in the Persona 3 and 5 games as well um, and again didn't play Persona 5 all the way through either never touched 3 um, but I would like to know because of the, the not the masters or I don't actually know what they are but the new versions Virtue slash the ward on Vita I, I, again this is one of the ones that where at the time I don't think I appreciated it but I would like it more now but I think at one point I just started like following a guide um, Good thing is though I've basically like forgot all of it, so it's not like a like I did spoil it for myself back then, but over time I've like unspoiled it, so I might go back to that one day. I think there is a PS4 version of that. Tesla Dad, I think this was on PlayStation Plus. It's like a puzzle game about magnets. Um, that was quite cool. But I remember there being one. I don't know if I actually took a break. Is that? No, I don't think so. But I remember there being one jump that was just like impossible. Um, but I did do it eventually. So, Fat Princess. This is one that think about constantly. Did all of it. There's one um, multiplayer thing left and I think it was only meant to take like 15 minutes and I think at one point I actually did set up a session on PSN profiles and then I think the guy pulled out and I just deleted the game. Oh I think this might be dead actually. Okay so apparently it is still live so I might do this at some point. Um, if anyone has this game. I think this was, this was on PlayStation Plus. Um, then comment and <laughs> if we can do this. It's Martin vs. The Law 2010. I think I went back, I bought this like way after it came out because I think I read that this one has an easy platinum. Or I think actually what it would have been is that if the other one has multiplayer trophies that are now dead. But this one doesn't. Um, you can see I played it for like a day. And I was like, yeah, this is cool. I think I just couldn't work out the controls because they've changed so much. Because I think you had to reverse differently for. Um, good apple and uh, like hit, and then my mind just couldn't understand it. But now we're at Rocket League, PlayStation Plus, obviously. So many DLC trophies. Um, yeah, basically just played this at lunch, and then I remember there was that the one where you have to get all the items. Is that what it was actually? Don't know what you had to do for that. Um, but yeah, I think actually that was like games. You had to, every game you'd get an item, so you have to actually finish games. And then there's one that's to dive 50 kilometers where you just tape down your controller and spin it in circles. Final Fantasy Type Zero. This is weird actually. This is the first Final Fantasy game that I've played, and it's like a spin-off and completely different. And I don't know. What, I think this is when I started with Enten games, and I saw that this was easy, and I was like, oh cool, Final Fantasy. Um, so I got this, and because it took me a while to play it, but you can see that when I actually started on the 27th. I just like finished it off. Um, actually, I've got good memories of this. I can't. Oh, it's like kind of like a blur, but it, it was good. Doom twenty sixteen. Um, was this? I can't remember if there was like a glitch to do the the. Do you have to play it on hard? No, oh, no, you didn't. Okay, you had to beat the final boss on hard. But I think this is the one. There was basically a method where you could like glitch through the floor and it would like fly into the sky, and then walk along this wall to get to the end. Um, just so you don't actually have to do it. And then I think the multiplayer you just had to, yeah, level 5. I think it was weird they had multiplayer in it, because I don't know if anyone played it. I don't know if they had multiplayer in Eternal as well, which I haven't actually played, but... And Gravity Rush on Vita, then PS4, I think, I don't know why... I think this must be on a PlayStation Plus, but I think when I got my Vita, I got, obviously I got Gravity Rush because it's like, the, like, five, the, it's like one of the five games on the Vita that, 
like or on the Vita. Um, but yeah, I think I just went back to it, got the platinum, and then I was like, "Things so will go in the PS4 version." And I've never played two. Don't know why, because I know that two is meant to be like way better than the first. South Park, PS4, got it again. I think this would have been the one where, because I knew what I was doing. Yeah, you know, what did it in? Other than this first one, did it in two days. Um, and this is platinum number fifty. So from 2010, Lego Harry Potter, to 2016, it took me six years to get 50, and then in those past seven years, I'm now at 337. So you can see after this, it's going to start with amping up. I think this, these are like all the easy um, games that you just buy, but you just buy to get the platinum. Magus, you need to check that one out. That was on PlayStation now. But yeah, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to stop at 50, and if you want to see more, let me know. Um, I don't know how many parts, if I keep going, um, it's going to be, I might just have to start skipping games. But, just for a sneak peek, I mean if you want, you could you could pause the video and... Um, it was weird the way that it glitches like that. Like it duplicates the game like six times. Um, but you can see how long this is taking to get back to the top. But what I'm playing now is Kadash Bandicoot, and I've got one Thelic left. The high though. I've got the DLC as well, but I'm scared. Um, so I'm going to be making a video on that in the next few days. Um, so if you want to see me suffer. So I've already spent like two hours on it, but I think I'm going to get it today. Um, so if you want to see that, subscribe. And... Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this, more parts. Go th maybe I can go through the uh, most recent backwards if that's more interesting. Um, also let me know what games you want to see me to then get the Platinum in. Either ones that you've seen on this list that I've not finished or just any other game. You can I'll leave my PSN profiles account in the description so you can see um, like if you're going to suggest a game you can check if I've actually played it in case I've already got the Platinum. But yeah, thanks for watching.